that someday. <laughs> Hi folks, welcome to my late night random, no, random late night picking. It's so late I can't even say it tonight, but random late night picking. And uh, this is a 1937 L.O. Gibson acoustic guitar, uh, flat top guitar. Isn't this nice? Original black finish um, with a tortoise shell, tiger stripe tortoise shell. Just asked for Kelly Barber or Mikey at Action Sound, Hawkins, Texas, but they let me use this. Strap doesn't go with it, I'm afraid. This is my uh, my, my strap here from my good friend Omar over at uh, uh, Alfonso Leather in, uh, in, in Burbank, California. They used to make a lot of the straps for a lot of the old stars back in the day. He knew Gene Autry growing up. Uh, Roy Rogers, John Wayne would come by, all these guys. They made the uh, gun holsters for gun smoke and have gun will travel. And so I'm set now for the 30s and 40s. 1937. <laughs> guitar. And uh, these guitars were made, uh, they used to say LGO was learner's guitar. I, I guess LO was just learning, <laughs> whatever. I don't know whether that's true or not, but uh, all I know is these guitars were 
made really well, and they still, up, up to this day, I mean, this is 1937, and listen to this. I changed the strings on it last night. Uh, speaking of, special thanks to GHS Strings and also Fred Kelly Picks and also Shub Capos. And uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it sounds like with a capo on it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> So I'm having a great fun here tonight, folks. But um, the LO series, 1937 uh, Gibson guitar. What a wonderful instrument this is. And it can be yours. Uh, I was playing uh, some Django a while ago. And I have a little, I don't, I, of course, I'm way too young, even at my age, to have known Django. But here's, there's a picture of a guy here, if you see, with, uh, with myself. And uh, is holding up a, a picture that he painted called White Rose for Heidi. And uh, if you can see that, and that is Pierre Matisse, who was at that time 90 years old. And uh, he painted this, he calls it White Rose for Heidi, in honor of the song that I wrote, White Rose for Heidi. And uh, Pierre told me that he said he, he didn't really know his grandfather Henri in Paris was famous until one day he asked him if he would go to this club one night to hear a guitar player. And he said the place was just packed, people everywhere, and he said I'd never heard anybody play like this man played and the guitar. And so he said, oh, and his grandfather noticed that he, he liked the music. He said, would you like to meet him? And he was thinking, are you kidding? I mean, there's so many people. And he says, sure, you know, and, uh, and he says, so his grandfather started walking towards the back during the break and ever it's like the Red Sea was parting and everybody, oh, and, you know, Mr. Matisse. And uh, <laughs> he said, for the first time I knew then that my grandfather was famous. Uh, and he went to the back and of course he met Django Reinhardt. Isn't that a great story? <laughs> <laughs> and he told me that one day, just kind of out of the blue. And uh, what a wonderful man. And uh, Pierre Matisse, Henri Matisse. He always talked about how, how art and music and art uh, went together uh, as far as uh, so many different styles of art. He said it's all a medium. It's just a, a way of expression, whether you do it in music or on a canvas. And, of course, he had a, a way about him, too. Look, at, look up some of his paintings. And uh, that's Pierre Matisse. And he went on to be with the Lord. He was a good, strong Christian man. 1937, L.O. Gibson. I'm having fun. Good night, folks.